hi welcome to my channel and welcome to this video so in this video i'm going to be talking about how you can move to ghana if you're in nigeria so keep watching now this video is particularly for the nigerians who are resident in nigeria but are wanting to relocate to Ghana so I'm going to be giving you a guide a sort of guide you know steps that you can take to ensure that you can move properly um, for me um, I feel one of the reasons why it's better to move to Ghana one of the reasons why Nigerians are always particular about moving to Ghana is because of the proximity of Ghana to Nigeria that Ghana is located in West Africa just like Nigeria and um, aside that they are the closest country to Nigeria that speak English predominantly just like we do so and Ghana and Nigeria I feel like they also share a rich history together they share similarities together so it's only natural for nigerians to want to move to ghana okay so i'm going to be listing the steps or procedures you can follow if moving to ghana is on your list okay ghana is part of west africa um and also part of ECOWA. so what that means is you're free to move in and out of member states freely okay. so what that means is you don't need a visa to come into ghana okay. so you've decided i want to move to ghana where do i start so the first way you can move to ghana relocate and settle in ghana is through job you can get a job offer or you, a job opportunity then you can move or through school you want to do your bachelor's you want to do your master's or even high school you can come into Ghana through that route or you have a business idea you have a business you already run in Nigeria you want to have a branch in Ghana you can also use that to move into Ghana these are the three ways you can move if you decide to move to Ghana you can move through job you can move through business or you can move through school even though Ghana is a member of the ECOWAS and you can move in and out as a national you do need a resident permit to reside for as long as you want in Ghana or a work permit if you decide to work in Ghana. Okay, so you got a job, you need a work permit to be able to work in Ghana. You want to study, you need a student permit to study in Ghana. And you want to establish a business, you also need to register your business and all that, right? So these are the three ways you can come into Ghana. So next, how do you come into Ghana? How much do you need to come into Ghana? Um, so before you even consider moving to Ghana, check your financial capacity. Is it enough to move and resettle in Ghana? Because the truth is Ghana is a very expensive country very expensive so you really need to prepare very well financially if you, even if you're coming to study even if you're coming to work even if you're coming to do business you need enough money not a lot of money but enough money to sustain yourself again are you coming alone or are you coming with your family of course the money you need when you're coming alone is totally different if you're coming with a family like i i moved family of five okay if you want to know how much it costs you can leave a comment in the comment section and maybe i'll make a video on that subsequently so you think about am i coming here alone am i moving to ghana alone am i going with my family you know another thing you have to consider sorry i'm going to be looking at my phone okay i wrote the points down on my phone so please bear with me if you catch me looking down okay so after that paperwork okay what documents do you need to move to ghana um of course a means of identification okay you cannot move to another country you can't even travel to another country without a means of identification okay so you can either use your ECOWAS. there's something called the ECOWAS travel certificate you can either use that or you 
use an international passport. So you need to get your passport. An international passport is better because there are so many things you're going to do once you're inside the country that will require your international passport. So it's better and safer to do the international. So I would advise you do the ECOWAS international passport. That will be better. You need your yellow card, okay? You need to take the yellow fever vaccine. After the vaccination, you'll be issued a vaccination card to show that you have been vaccinated. It's called... It's popularly called a yellow card so you need your yellow card and you also need your covid vaccine certificate or card okay your covid card you need it because to move in and out now post covid you either need to show your vaccination card or a proof of um a covid test before you move in and out so to be on the safe side Go get your vaccine so you can get your, your COVID card and you'll be free to move around. So the three documents you need for now is your international passport or your ECOWAS travel certificate, your yellow card and your COVID vaccination. So once you've sorted all that, the next thing you need to think about or consider when you're coming is your mode of movement. How are you going to move? Are you going to fly? Or are you going to do a road trip? Okay, I'll be leaving some names on the screen. If you're going to use the land, like you're going to move by land, um, there are some reliable bus service that I'm going to leave their name. This is not sponsored, okay? They didn't sponsor this, but I'm just trying to help out here. I'll be leaving it on the screen so you can check them out if you want to move by land. And if you want to fly, there are also airlines that come from nigeria to ghana i'm going to leave a few on the screen so you can check them out so after that after you've sorted out how you're going to move into the country by land or by air the next thing to consider is where are you going to stay when you come into ghana are you going to stay in a hotel do you have family or friends you're going to squat with um are you going to stay stay are you going to stay in an airbnb are you going to rent an apartment? Are you going to buy a house? So those are the things to consider. I can make separate videos on all that. I'm not going to say the cost of all that in this video. This video is just to give you a general idea of things to expect, things to do before you consider moving to Ghana. Okay, so where are you going to stay? So do your research. Which city are you going to reside in? Are you going to stay in the capital, Accra? Or are you going to stay in Tema? Are you going to stay in Tamale? Are you going to stay in Kumasi? There are so many places you can stay in Ghana, okay? Provided you have your documentation and you're not causing any trouble, okay? Ghanaians are naturally peaceful and loving people. You're going to enjoy your stay in Ghana if you behave yourself. So next, let me check my list. So after all that, you should also consider how you're going to be paying your bills because it's all about bills here in Ghana. You're going to pay for your light bill. You're going to pay for your water bill. Um, your permits, of course, you're going to pay for them. So many things, transport, your accommodation, house rent and all that. So these are the things to factor in when making your decision to move to any country including Ghana okay so make sure you are financially able and capable very important very very it's not all about just I want to go to Ghana I want to go to Ghana are you ready Ghana is expensive I have to be truthful Ghana is expensive and if you don't prepare well you might not really be able to cope because you're going to pay like things are very expensive here and it's worse if you are a foreigner because the price is going to be doubled understand so if you want the best of schools you're going to pay more if you want the best of accommodation you're going to pay more so make sure you have enough money to sustain yourself so i'm going to do a recap of all i've said so far before you move to ghana please consider your financial capacity it's expensive but it's affordable it's fair enough compared to going to places like the us uk canada and co so if you have enough money and you feel like this is the right place for you to move to, please go ahead. So the first thing to consider, I'm going to repeat myself, is number one, 
get your travel documents, your passport, your yellow fever card, and your COVID vaccination card. Very important. Then consider where you're going to stay when you come in. Are you going to stay in the city? Are you going to stay in the outskirts? Are you going to stay in another region? You consider that. Are you going to be renting an apartment? Are you going to be buying a house? Are you going to be living in a hotel? I don't know. So these are the things you should consider before you finally decide to come to Ghana. Thank you for watching. Up to this point, if you've watched, consider subscribing if you're not subscribed. You, if you have any suggestions, if you have any questions or anything you would like to add, please leave them in the comment section. And subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.